of society, unified field, communicating about the design of myself, of the unified consciousness field. Now I'm pretty certain everyone has got a very, very clear perspective on what exactly is the unified consciousness field, so um, I'll continue with the specific design of myself and how I contain human beings within a specific pattern of behavior. Now, <clears throat> I'm certain many human beings have heard about the, what is referred to as the elite in the world. Um, an interesting question that should be asked is, is it really possible for individual governments within individual countries to have the ability to have directive power and control over their countries? Or, is there someone or something behind it all in the background, knowing exactly what to do, having each country have a president, have a government, have a law. If you have a look, each and every single country has exactly the same placement. Yes, each and every single country might not be in the exact same position, but if you look at the foundation upon which each and every single country is established upon, it's exactly the same. So obviously, there must be something or someone behind this all that is directly participating and knowing how exactly to herd the sheep, which is this entire world and human beings within it. Now understand, I'm certain there are many human beings that are relatively tired of hearing you are sheep. But you will continue hearing it until you realize it. Because you are only able to become irritated, angry, and frustrated at such a statement unless you stand up and actually do something about it. So the irritation, frustration, and anger will grow until you start realizing these beings might have a point. And there are many human beings in this world who have specifically voiced themselves insights, perspectives. But that's a problem with this world. You don't hear, you don't act, and you don't stand up. Now, let's look at society, for instance. The entire world's behavior has been controlled, directed, influenced. Human beings, what you eat, what you buy, what you wear, what you think, what you experience, the house you build, the house you choose, the car you buy, the car you choose, starting a family, the school you choose, for your children, the education system, what your children learn, the books they read, the books you read, the jobs you do, the universities you go to. the movies you watch, the television ser series you enjoy, everything is not real. Imagine for a moment that you, I, I would refer to it as wake up, and you realize that everything that you have ever done each and every single movement has been controlled, delegated, directed, programmed within you. And nothing of that you were was real. That it was a lie. Now, back to the elite of the world. The elite is but the manifestation, the outer projected manifestation of the mind within and as human beings. Now, what is keeping human beings in 
enslaved by the mind is a unified consciousness field created by all human beings collectively through the connection and interconnectedness of the unconscious mind. Now, for instance, the elite know very much about socialism, society in its entirety. Therefore, they are what they are because they are the outward projected manifestation of the mind. They know exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it just like the mind within them as human beings. The mind and the, as the unified consciousness field created together with the human beings, this is exactly what it's doing. Specific. Just like the elite is specific. Thus human beings. Stop being of the norm. Stop hiding inside your homes. Stop fearing death. We know that death is inevitable for all. What do you think society is being controlled with? Fear of death. As long as you fear death, you're able to be controlled. You're able to be directed. Same goes with the mind. Therefore we are here to stop the mind all parts of us, the designs, systems, everything. We're not your enemy. We're here to speak out and show you what and who you have accepted and allowed yourself to become. And just take this into consideration that one day you'll be a child that will come into this world again. What world would you want to come into? Because let me tell you that you have the power and you have the ability to make a difference. To stop what has been accepted and allowed within this world by stopping your mind through a process of self-forgiveness, self-honesty and self-corrective application in every moment. And each human being has to do this for themselves individually. We're not here to start a movement. We're not here to start an organization. That's not what we're about. We're here to give to have each and every single human being realize that you have to stand up individually for yourself. And we'll make you angry, we'll make you frustrated as much as possible, we'll irritate you as much as possible, until you use that anger, that frustration, and that irritation, that absolute fed upness, hopelessness, you use it and you stand up. And you say, we'll hear no further. If you want to stop this world and what has currently been manifested and experienced, allowed and accepted, stop your own mind. It is really simple. Thank you very much. This is the design of the Unified Society field.